hi guys uh, welcome to our hrp academy and earlier video we have seen uh, a data item the data item stage is used you know uh, the collection stage is an excellent version for data item stage because the data item can hold only one data item at a time the collection stage can hold multiple data items it is almost the table service and now you see uh, you know the data items uh, collection stage in the canvas area once you double click on collection stage there you can see pro collection properties window will open there you can see the name description fields initial values current values add field remove field clear fields uh, etc so the fields tab is nothing but the columns in a table and the initial values are nothing but the rows in a table and there you can see in the right hand side you can see like import fields means we can import uh, uh, the information from uh, business object if you click on here the business you know business object uh, you know we can see all available business objects and from there we can download the business or any actions from the business object. here the, the fields and you know you add fields to the collection using we can use like a, one of uh, two methods using the data from a business object or we can manually give an inputs to give ma to manually give an inputs uh, you know for every uh, time we need to press e uh, press the button uh, a field will be added to the collection the next will choose data type for each field using the drop down menu and the single row uh, option is you know if you select the single row option in the bottom of the screen bottom of the window uh, a single row collection has an will exactly one row we can set a collection to be single row by ticking the checkbox in the field step so if you have added like rows for the collection they will remove until only one remains when this tick box is checked conversely if the collection currently has no rows will be added and then next one is like add initial values and optionally we can give a we can give the collection with a set of initial values to add an initial value click the initial values tab to add new rows to the collections initial value click the add row button at each click of the button creates a new row after a row has been added the values can be set by clicking the cells within the row and we will importing in fields from an action if an action accepts as a collection as an input or uh, emits a collection as an output the fields defined in the action can be imported into a collection stage by clicking on the import fields button in the stage properties dialog when activated a dialog opens which lists all available business objects with uh, actions which you know which we have defined in the collection parameters now you can see the fields in whenever you press the import fields button the fields import window will open then you can see like a business object the action parameter next uh, uh, when an ob object is chosen its applicable act actions will pop up on choosing an action the parameters with defined collections are shown on selecting a parameter uh, 